Just Michael Haynes and your storm team forecast. Michael, it's been a beautiful weekend so far. I'm enjoying these slightly cooler temps. Yeah, Chloe, for August, you just can't ask for much yeah. better than this uh, in Alabama. Now, it doesn't feel like October. That's still a ways off, but at least we are getting especially some humidity relief. Uh, the temperatures right now, again, in the lower 60s this morning. On the Sunday morning, Hamilton now at 61, Coleman at 64, while Gadsden at 67, uh, Birmingham in the upper 60s, the low 70s, Tuscaloosa and Moundville. Looking live from Summerton in Walker County, you see Highway 70 down below a really nice beginning to this morning. If you're heading to the lake or the pool, anything this afternoon, uh, we're not expecting anything uh, in the form of rain or thunderstorms, but still getting hot. That's exactly near average uh, for August in Alabama around 90 to 92 degrees later on this afternoon. But we still have this a fairly dry air for this time of the year in place again uh, from this stone cold front now along the Gulf Coast uh, as, as we progress throughout the day that will remain the case, uh, but changing fairly quickly as we get into the first part of your work week. We'll have highs turning uh, up into the, uh, the middle 90s uh, as early as Monday around at 94 degrees tomorrow afternoon. A few spotty showers or thunderstorms possible. Then as the humidity continues to ramp up over the next uh, several days, we'll just flip back into a typical uh, summertime weather pattern here uh, for August. Uh, south of this front in the Gulf of Mexico, we do have some showers and thunderstorms, and we're also monitoring uh, this wave in the Gulf of Mexico. Right As of right now, just off the coast of Texas, a low chance over the next two to five days uh, for any type of significant development. But it's core, of course, as always, uh, we'll continue to monitor it for you. Chloe. Michael.